The patch that never ends, chaotic events, and three new classes. This is Inside Me. Hello and welcome to a little show I like to call Inside Maple, where I make crappy jokes, bad sarcastic remarks, and plague your dreams with nightmares. First off is the patch that never ends. No, dead serious. This patch still isn't overseeing how many bugs are still in it, let alone there's an unscheduled server check going on right now as I'm actually recording this audio. Even after being down for 16 hours, if not 22. Do I add this time on to the previous unscheduled server check as well? But regardless, the patch is here. The class changes are here, and nothing of value is lost. As you can tell, I'm so thrilled. I'm personally just waiting for the item crafting remake. But Arons, Evons, and Dual Blades all got upgrades while some other classes also did. I don't have a list in front of me so I can't tell you what. Other changes include the Gate to the Future where future Erevi and future Hennessy's for those of you who are level 160 and higher. This also brings in the toughest boss in the game, Empress Cygnus. She can be fought in channel 13 with 3 to 18 people who are level 170 and higher. But if you die you cannot re-enter the battle unless you are revived or have a wheel of destiny. Along with this is the future Erevi area that's pretty much just like Lionheart Castle, a huge party play area. So bring some friends with you because these knights aren't a walk in the park. So much for Cygnus Knights being weak. But speaking of those two, Von Leon and Empress Cygnus actually have voiceovers now. Secret mastery books are now dropping in place of certain mastery books. Double click them to receive a mastery book. This is more than likely a permanent feature, so... Oh well. Goodbye specific mastery book hunting. And also, a preview of the trait system is out. Check it out to see what it does and blah blah blah. However, what isn't so blah 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 is that Evon still need mastery books from the cash shop. However, you only need three and the cost is 3600 NX at the least. Simply buy the Critical Booster Package 1 and the Magic Guard Package. Sale only lasts until July 13th, so if you want it, act now. It's the cheapest it'll ever be. But if you want mostly free through the early levels, then the free Dual Blade Skillbook event is what you want. Simply create a new Dual Blade or make one for the Jumpstart event, and when you reach 2nd Tier Plus and 3rd Tier Plus, you will get the Skillbooks free from Lady Sile. Just know the Skillbooks expire in 30 days if not used. The event runs until July 19th. What doesn't make sense though is that Dual Blade skills are also on sale. You can get the skill books for free, but the last two, whatever, regardless, the sale lasts until July 13th. A cool event that I personally like is the Hyper Teleport Rock Preview. It's simply a special VIP teleport rock. This Hyper Teleport Rock can be used as many times as you want for the 7 days you have it. It has the same restrictions as the VIP Teleport Rock though. You can warp to other players in the same channel, and to any content you want. You can also click on the map button and double click on the map you want to teleport to. How do you get it? If your account was created before June 28th, simply log in, go to the gas shop, and claim it. The next event is a new world event. The Chaos server is open with some nice new world events, such as the classic Pioneer Bandana. Simply level up to level 70 and you'll get an 18 all-stat bandana from Cassandra. Tio also has two quests where you can get free meso. The first quest gives 100k, and the second quest gives 200k, for a nice little financial boost. The event lasts until July 28th. Speaking of new servers, new characters can obtain some cash shop items and a medal. The first package of stuff is given when the character is first created, the second package at level 30, and the final package at level 50. This event runs until July 26th. The next event is the Boom Up event. Running until July 26th, you can get bonus experience from 12pm Pacific Standard Time to 5pm Pacific Standard Time. Characters level 1 to 29 get double experience. Between 30 and 69 get 50% more. Between 70 and 119 get 20% more. And 120 and higher get 10% more. For those of you who haven't logged in since May 29th, log in from now till August 31st and you'll have some cash shop items waiting for you from the return friend event. You'll have a VIP hair and face style coupon, a 1.5 times experience coupon, and a ring box. Double click it to receive a ring. Wait 3 hours with it equipped and it'll change and gain stats. If you log out before it changes, the ring will disappear. The final game event is the Chaos Warrior Challenge, which runs until August 14th. Talk to Gaga and if you're below level 40, reach level 80 to claim your prize. If you're above level 40, simply gain 40 levels to gain your prize. Adventurers will get an Explorer's Ring of their choice, Resistance will get a Resistance Lux Ring, Cygnus will get a Holy Wing Earring, Arons will get a Lillian's Aura Ring, Evons will get an Onyx Dragon Glasses, and Dual Blaze will get a Blood Mask. Each item is unique and can only be moved once in your account. If you have one of the previous rewards of the same type, then you cannot get the new reward. At least that's how I think it works. If you want to test your luck at Gashapon, then now's the time. Every month now will feature one jackpot prize. Every time someone gets one in the server, the chances to get a rare item go up for everyone who uses Gashapon. This month's jackpot prize is this lovely pendant. More Gashapon goodies include these new hero chairs, 1.3 and 1.5 times experience coupon, and a strawberry and blueberry shoulder equips, all available until August 10th. More cash shop releases is the Persian Cat Pet. 
The cat will be available until July 13th and can be bought as a permanent pet for 9900 NX, as well as a pet equipped for the cat, which can also be bought as a permanent equipped for 3800 NX. You can also get the package deal, which comes with a permanent cat, a permanent pet equip, a can of food for your pet, and two scrolls for the pet equip that are either for magic attack or weapon attack, all for the price of 1400 NX. Lastly, I believe, is the Quest Booster Coupon. This simply lets you get double experience on the quests you do. The coupon lasts 10 days for 2500 NX or 30 days for 5500 NX. The coupon is available until July 27th. Overall changes though in this patch are that you now no longer need a dark crystal for the third job advancement it seems. Arons get all their skills till fourth job. Cygnus Knights now need 20 Matean tentacles for a third job quest. Maker skill goes bye bye. Chaos Horntail is now in channel 11 instead of 15. Nets Pyramid has been disabled except for the bonus room for those of you who have the gem to still enter it. Sleepy Wood has had its level requirement removed, and more. Just check the link below for all the changes. But GMS isn't the only version getting changes. KMS has now talked about the three new classes they've been working on. The Cannon Shooter class, the Archer Legend Mercedes, and a new Resistance Warrior Demon Slayer. New information and videos are coming out about Mercedes, and little is known now about the Warrior class. However, Mercedes uses dual bow guns, so expect new scrolls and new weapons for this class. While we're on the topic of previews, expect a Warrior, Magician, and Archer update to come later this year. It was hinted at in the dev blog, so just check the link below and read more. Anyways, with that, this wraps up this long episode of Inside Maple. I'll have to go find a pig and fill it with arrows.